Hello friends, it's Brandy. I'm back today with another layout for the Stick It Down design team. Every month at Stick It Down, we get a new sketch to work with. We have one for single page, one for double page, and one for cards. And I'm gonna be working with the single page sketch today. If you enjoy working with sketches, I'd like to encourage you to head on over to Facebook and join our group. The name of the group on Facebook is called Stick It Down Scrapbook and Card Making Challenges. So the way it works is you choose a sketch that you want to work with for the month and when your project is created, you add it to the album that corresponds with that sketch. And at the end of the month, they will choose someone to join us as a guest designer for the following month. In January, we saw the group grow quite a bit. There's a lot of new faces there. So we really would love for you also to come and join us and play along if working with sketches is something that you like to do. Okay, now let me tell you what's going on with my page. So I have decided that I want to do some hand stitching down the center of the page. So I flipped the page over on the back and I drew some lines at the length that I want them. I found the center point, I drew a straight line across, and then I drew another line a quarter inch away from the center one and stepped it down a quarter of an inch in length. So I do that, I think, five times on each side of the center line. And now I'm going to hand stitch across those lines. So if any of you guys have been interested in getting started with hand stitching on your layouts, I think this is a really great way to dive in. It's a pretty simple way to add a large impact to your page. I know a lot of us really like the hand stitching on pages but the idea of it is really daunting and I'm no different I certainly feel that way it can be extremely daunting sometimes because it is time consuming and I think that it just is it's a personal preference though it, pages certainly don't have to have them but it's just such a pretty detail and it's a commitment this way doing it like this it's much less of a commitment. I got through this fairly quickly and it was super easy and it makes a big difference on the page. I couldn't have created this particular design without these stitches in a way that made it look just as good in my opinion. And to clarify, I am not talking about the sketch. The sketch is amazing and it's what gave me the idea to do this. But I'm, I'm saying if you look at my page and you just take away the, after the final product and you take away these hand stitches, it's just not gonna, it's not gonna feel the same. Okay, I'll stop rambling on about that. Let's talk about those splashes that I have on the background. They are from, this is a Vibes from Shimmers, from Shimmers Paints, and the color is Think Pink. It's a subtle color, although you can see it better than this in real life, but it's, it is subtle, and it adds a little hint of shimmer. It's so pretty and just the perfect little detail to add some visual texture to my page. Now, I used my heating tool to dry the shimmers on the page and I guess I was getting <laughs> a little impatient because I just really put that heating tool close to my paper and it burned. The, I smelled it before I noticed it, before I saw it. And I was like, oh shoot, I it scared me at first but then I looked at it and I'm like, okay, I really liked this. <laughs> this is a neat technique that I didn't know existed, but I do recommend that if you try it, you are super careful because like I said, I did smell it. I am confident that if I had just left it there, that the paper probably would have caught on fire. 
So for legal reasons, I'm going to tell you, don't try this at home, kids. I don't need anybody coming back blaming me if something catches on fire because I'm not recommending it. But I am saying it's kind of neat looking. So before I get too much further, if you guys are interested in the Shimmers products, you can head on over to the Shimmers Paints website. I'll go ahead and link that in the description too. And um, this color comes in the February's new kit subscription that they have. They're, they're offering a kit subscription brand new in February and this color is in that kit along with a bunch of other really pretty things. And if you guys mention my name at checkout, Brandy Vaughn, you will receive a free goodie, which we all like free stuff. So head on over there if you're interested and claim your free goodie. Now off camera, I went ahead and glued my pictures and my title down. That title is a piece of wood veneer that I cut myself. So I can't link, link that. There's no link to that one. And the Paige Evans sticker book is in my stash. I grabbed that because they are are some really pretty florals I just wanted something kind of subtle not a whole lot of flowers on here and these stickers were perfect and these guys that I have in my hand right now are Maggie Holmes round trip enamel dots oh and those labels are from hip kit club I believe they are from August 23's kit one of my favorite thing about uh, things about working with sketches is I feel like I'm able to pull just random items from my stash and use them well and cohesively. Otherwise, I just feel a little overwhelmed by all of the things that I have plus all of the thousands of ideas that exist for scrapbook pages and this way it kind of the sketches just narrow my focus so I don't have to think about anything else but the little pretties that I want to add to the page. So here I've taken a sheet of paper from the 6x8 paper pack that is Paige Evans Blooming Wild and Blooming Wild's the same collection that the stickers are in also. But I grabbed this beautiful little piece of green paper and a, just a generic leaf die and that's the perfect little delicate embellishment on my page because I, I do enjoy keeping my pages minimum Sometimes I do pages that are really full, but for the most part, I gravitate towards minimal scrapbook styles. And this sketch was perfectly conducive to that. And I just kind of wanted to stop there. I didn't want a whole lot of other stuff on here. But true to my style, I do feel like I have to add a border around the page. I just wanted something else to keep it from feeling like all of the stuff was just gonna float off the page. So I grabbed this random page that I've had in my stash forever that it may have taken me another six years to use, but it matches perfectly with the little embellishments that I have. So I thought, why not? Let's go for it. The cardstock that I put the mixed media on is a little bit, it's a little warped and it's not laying just perfectly flat so I'm trying to make sure I get adhesive really well in the spots where I have the mixed media so that I can try to get it to lay down as flat as possible. That paper is just a thin piece of paper. It's not sturdy cardstock so it's not going to help at all to hold my paper flat. So what I'm showing you there is the tip of my letter F that broke off. I bumped it and it broke, but off camera, I glued it back together and it's staying on there perfectly and it looks just fine. After I get through with all of my layouts, I always go and show them to Daniel and he decided that it wasn't finished. He said, you're not done yet. I'm, I thought I was done. He said, no, it just, it looks good, but you usually do more. So I'm like, okay, I start adding more. I decided to do a regular, just draw a doodle border. And I also off camera 
added some sequins and a few little black splashes also from Shimmer's Paints. It's a color splash in Black Hole. And I think that's it. Oh no, I'm adding some Tim Holtz letter stickers here. And I like the idea. I have them in white with black lettering, but I like the idea of pulling the gold in to go with, to match the little gold enamel dot hearts that I put down. And um, the black to help pull in, just to anchor the page a little bit. I think every page needs black on it. But it just kind of helps pull it all together and I feel like that's it for the page. I do end up off camera taking that long word above the top photo, the long phrase, and finding a phrase that's shorter because it just felt a little more balanced that way. So you'll see that in the final results. But that's it. Still shots are coming up. I'll make sure and link the products that I used in my description. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you can give me a like and a subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it because I'm still under 100 subscribers so I could use all the help that I can get. But thanks again, guys. I hope you have a lovely crafty day. Bye-bye.